Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Alex Fresco and today we are here to see the last three modifiers for the CAD portion of the software. And more specifically, they are container rectangle, wireframe creator, and finalize objects. Let's start immediately with the first one, which is also the faster probably. Let's draw some different geometries. Maybe a star. Okay. At this point, we can select everything, modify and select the function container rectangle as soon as we click on it the software will draw a rectangle around the parts so a container and uh, the options here are offset so do you want to leave uh, some distance between those objects and the container or not if so, you can decide how much the distance has to be. Then the second option is to create multiple containers. So one for every single geometry. And so far, actually, if we confirm it, we see that is a 2D container anyway. So let me go back. Let's do it again. Select function. And if we select the cube, the software is also able to create a 3D container. From the top, it looks like nothing is changed. But if we look using the isometric view or, or you know we can use the orbital, we can see it is a three-dimensional container. Okay, let's go get rid of these and let's see the wireframe creator and the finalized objects let's import a 3d model because these are normally used for 3d models we can select let me actually rotate this in Y first. Then let me rotate again everything in X. Okay. At this point, what uh, you would do? If we want to machine something like this, we can select it, right click, create the panel. Now we got the panel with the 3D model in it. But in order to apply machining, we need geometries, unless we want to carve it out. So in that case, we can also use directly the 3D model. We can now select the surface we need in order to create ge geometries and we ask the wireframe creator to give the geometries. Now that we got the geometries we can see that they belong actually if we double click on it it's going to show me that they belong to the top and that is what we, we do not want. 
because if we apply a machining like that it will be oriented vertically so in order to have the tool oriented properly we need to select the geometry or the geometries uh, you can select them all also go in modify use the finalize object and at this point we are able to select the proper face so we want this geometry to be part of the face 2 okay now if we select the geometry and we apply the machining we can see that the tool is oriented properly so then it's just a matter of selecting the proper correction, proper depth, and so on. So this is it for this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys. See you at the next video.